everyone we're back with making a 3d snowman and I've already uploaded him into design space from the SVG and this is what he looks like so he is um, layered with some designs cut out of the white and I want to go ahead and show you how I'm gonna go ahead and make him so I like to make sure that everything looks good everything on the side looks good get an idea of what I'm cutting everything does look good um, I'll go ahead and make it um, you can save it at this point I'm gonna call him the three 3d Santa I mean snowman the snowman okay and save him and go to make it and then I'll um, check each mat make sure that they look proper and if I want to move anything so I can save some paper sometimes when I do my designs I like to color things a little different so I can see them when I'm making them so the snow actually should be white and you can see the snowman on the other side is printing okay um, we probably can can move some of the reds together we'll take a look at that uh, let's see the greens are okay the browns okay the oranges is no so I'm gonna go ahead and go back I'm gonna cancel this and I'm gonna look, take a look at the colors so yeah so this these guys right here sh could be white the snow guys so two options one you can go over find the snow um, let's see snow 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 what does it look like let's see what do we got going on here and that's it right there so I can do I can just select that without ungrouping and anything and then just change that to white and then I want to pick these two guys on the side and make those white as well uh, this, this probably is a little more uh, meticulous but it's okay there's different ways to do different things in design space which makes it just fine all right do that make it white Okay, and then I see that I have, let's say I got two different reds here. So I've got a red on his cap and a red on his, um, the berries and a red on his scarf. So let me look and see what red is being used. That top corner one, uh, let's see for this, what is that? That is the other color. So I'm gonna go ahead and just select one so they'll all fit on one mat and we'll be good. All right. I believe that's all so let's go ahead and make it again now you can see all the white is coming up here now see these circles are being cut out um, by themselves so we'll take a look at that and see what's going on with that oh oh okay so there's two pieces of the snow there's one in the front and one in the back so that's good there's still two different color reds so let's look at that again. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and ungroup. And this might be true for other people's projects too. I don't know, you know, you, you never know. But this is how you would fix it if you want to have them all on the same mat. Just change the colors to be the same and you'll be good to go. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and look at all this guy. Oh, I forgot about the little cherries maybe, that the red might be different. No, the cherry, we got the banner, that's that upper one, got the scarf, the scarf is the lower one, so I'm going to change the scarf color, okay, all right, there's two scarves, so let me go back to that one, see what we got for that one as well. And that's the lower one, so I'm going to change it to the upper one. And now they should all be the same. All right. So what's cutting out of that uh, snowman and those white things are those white dots. So we can get rid of those if you don't want to use them. It's not a big deal. Um, you can use them to give your snowman a more 3D effect as well. But you can see I've got the centerpiece, the two that go in the back and the two that go in the front. These little dots right here, I'm going to go ahead and leave them for now and see what we're going to do with that. 
I think everything's good now, so I'm going to go ahead, first of all, and save it. Um, <clears throat> because I want to save all my changes that I just made. Alright. Then I'm going to go ahead and make it and look at my mats again. And if you do this, uh, these steps, it really will save you time in the long run. Once you get going, you realize, oh, I could have saved the paper, or I should have printed that, or I didn't need to print that. So we still have another one. There is two layers of the hat band, I believe. That may be causing the issue because now you can see our scarf and one of the hat bands in this. So what we can do instead of going back and forth is just change this, take this, go up to this corner and say move object and move it right onto that red one and we'll be good to go. So now this, this is blank, it's not going to cut anything, and you only have one piece of red that you're using. When you go back on it, you'll see that those two are, in this, are on the mat, but we do need to move this guy. Um, and also, I'm going to move this guy. And I'm going to move these guys, because it's a waste of paper the way that sometimes this comes out. And you can very easily cut these without wasting all that paper in my opinion and I like to save my paper I think that sometimes the paper can be a little expensive so we'll look at this again I think this is okay um, <clears throat> trying to move these guys over here well we'll just leave them as they are I don't know that I can save much more than the paper here but you get the idea you can move it around to your liking now, if you're also using 8.5 by 11, you can also change this design. Um, it'll scrunch everything up, but if you have an eye for it, you can certainly move these things to see if you can get it all on an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper, um, which also saves uh, a lot of paper. And the 8.5 is a little cheaper than the 12 by 12, so I'm going to see if I can do that because I have a lot of white cardstock that I can use. See, it's very simple to move these things around. So I do have this guy down here that will need to go on another sheet. So let's see if I can move him to another sheet and stay within the eight and a half by 11. So I think I'm gonna try and move him to number three Okay, let's try to move him here, so because I think we might have room for him there. All right, let's turn this guy around, move it over, and see where we're at with the grid. So I think we'll be fine. Eight, eight and a half. Get over as close as I can without getting too, too, too close. I think we're well within their parameters of eight and a half by eleven on this one just at the border, so I'm going to try to lift them up. Well, it might not lift up a little bit. So, I think we're good. It'll cut right at the 11. We, I think we should be good on that one. Let's see. After I cut it, if I decide that that didn't cut right, then I'll just go ahead and change the uh, file for you, and you won't have to deal with that, and I'll let you know. Everything else looks fine. Let me go back to this 11. Now, I'm going to try to use scraps where I can as well. So, I might want to try to move these guys around a little bit um, to fit the piece of scraps that I have. I have um, some brown scraps that I think these will work fine on. All right. So this little bit of extra time will just save you in the long run. Paper and time cutting and all of that so my scraps are almost four inches by six inches so this one I may want to move that up just a little bit more and this guy over a little bit more so that he'll fit my scrap and this guy I'll move him more over to the side so I can get them on that six. That looks good. Okay, I'm good with that one. 
Let's see what else we got. The greens. I'm just going to use scrap for that as well. Those should be fine. And the orange. Just a sliver for his nose. Should be fine. Everything else looks good. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and make it. And I'll come back and let you know. So I'm going to go ahead and continue. And I'm going to go ahead and select the um, cardstock medium cardstock. Okay, so now I have the snowman all cut, all the pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them together, <clears throat> show you how it all goes together. So these are the extra middles of the snowman. I'm gonna set them aside for a minute. I also ran out of the that red color, so I'm going to do that for the back, and then I have this other red I'll use for the front. Here's a trick. Um, since I'm layering it, I don't need two glitter cardstock, so I just use red underneath the glitter to save on cardstock. And then my little cherries, my little, my little hats, <clears throat> arms. So kind of good to get everything situated before you put it all together so you don't use the wrong one on the wrong side or anything like that. Well, my buttons, okay, my eyeballs, and my holly, cherries, it's going to go behind this guy, on the back, my little mouth, my snow, and my snowman. All right, so let's see. So we got two for the back, two for the front of the snowman. So I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna do the back first. So I'm gonna set these two guys aside. So I'm gonna turn this guy over and turn these guys over. And I'm working on the back. So just make sure everything lines up perfectly. And you should have <clears throat> one that has a little bit of this design cut out and then the other one has the full design cut out. So let's start with this guy. I'm gonna go ahead and flip him over. And I'm going to add my dots to the back of this guy so I know where, I know where I'm placing them. I'm gonna put them on these because this um, will be flimsy if you don't, and then if you put it around the edges, you might see it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put them all on these. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. Okay. And then I'm gonna put some at the bottom because we're gonna want them to stand up. So I wanna make sure that that's good and secured as well. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and put one on the neck, just, you know, for the, the places that are gonna be secure and you don't want them caving in or falling over or anything like that. So now you know this part's always the fun part is getting these little stickers off. Um, let's see. So these are my favorite dots. I know you've seen me in other ones, other videos struggling. These are the Papery Shop Foam Adhesive Dots and I'll put a link <clears throat> to them in the blog post. But I like that they're, they're round. Sometimes the square ones will work better for your project so it really depends, but these are nice and sturdy and they have a good lift to them, um, like a quarter of an inch. So they're good for the 3D projects. Okay, okay, all together. So now I'm gonna do the second part, the other part now. Um, just one more check before I go. You know how they say measure twice. I don't wanna put the wrong side on the wrong thing. So um, make sure I have the right side going. So, okay, so now that I know that that's the side that I want in the front, I'm going to flip it over and then adhesive on here, put the glue dots on there. Now these are a little bit bigger for the, I accidentally pulled off the paper for that. 
So you'll see what I'm going to do in a second. But I'm just going to get this all supported first. Let's see. The bigger ones on the bigger spots. And then at the bottom. For any one that I can get these on, I'm going to go ahead and stick them. Just put them up a little higher. Okay, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and put a couple on the outside. And this is because this layer right here is a little more flimsier than the other layer because of all the cutouts. So I just want to make sure that um, my snowman is not going to flop around. So, let's get that all done. All right, so then I'm gonna go ahead and re take off all these little dots, papers. I don't know if you can hear my kitten in the background. We just got a new kitten and she's crazy. She likes to meow, so we called her Piper because she has some really good pipes on her. <laughs> <laughs> She's cracking me up right now. Anyways. She's mad because I won't let her come in the craft room. It's always fun working with these dots, right? Trying to get all this stuff off. Making sure that all the paper's off. Got that one already. All right, now this is going to be a little challenging because there are a lot of dots, and the, you saw the other one was a little challenging already. So I'm going to work it a different way. I'm going to work it from the back like this and get it lined up down here and then put it down on top. Okay, that should be good. All right, so that looks really good. I'm happy with that. I'm not too worried about having the dots around here because I am gonna put his face on there. So that's okay that they're not um, adhered right here in the middle. And you'll see we're gonna put the little nose on as well and um, the hat and all that. So um, this is the back. So what I will do, there's a couple things I can do. So I can stick this, uh, this guy on the back, give him a little dimension. I can use the the dots that we cut out, which might be a good um, way to use the back for the back, and then put this little guy on top. I think that'll be cute. That's what I'm going to go ahead and do. So I'm not going to. Um, I'm going to go ahead and glue this to the back so that it'll stick better. So I'm just using my Aileen's glue. Give me a second for it to come out. Just spread it around good. All right, stick it right on there, and then I'll use a dot for the, I'm going to use one of these big dots for the flower, and then stick it right on there, and then just kind of position it so you can see through the holes, so you can see through, so you see that. Okay, and then on the bigger one down here, let's see, we have the center cut out. Not it's not big enough, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use one of these guys. I'm gonna use one that has a lot of the holes cut out, so I can just position it a little bit and give it a little more dimension. So here you've got this big hole here, so it's not gonna do any good to put little dots on there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the little dots around here. And then I think he'll be fine. Yeah, I think he'll be fine. Okay, so let's see, right there, maybe. And then if you get it on there and you decide you need more dots, you can just lift up the little leaf and or petal and put some more dots on there, it's fine. Okay, so let's see how we want to position this guy. Maybe like right there. And that's just at the back, so we're good with that. 
All right, the hat then is going to go on, and it's, the little corners are going to just come up to the edge of his head like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put the dots on the bo very bottom. I'm going to put three. And I'm going to go ahead and put this layer underneath this guy. I guess if he's if it's sitting on his head, maybe it should go above. Okay, here we go. All right, that's one. And then you got another layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and dot him all the way around. This one takes a lot of dots, but the 3D ones always do. So just be aware. Okay, and position him. And then lay them down. All right, and now I said I, I had made the red glitter um, for the back because I ran out of the this bright one. So he's already this. I um, wanted to point out if you use glitter with the one side, then you have to mirror this for the back. This, if you use just regular red, it doesn't matter. You can flip it over any way you want. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that. Turn it over, so I'm working on the back side. And this guy's just gonna attach to his neck, so actually I think I'm gonna put him on here so that I know that I get him in the right place. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put three on here because he's it's supporting the whole scarf. Okay, I'm gonna start with this guy. Oh, see, I got it in the wrong place. This is a little tricky. Just need to move it down a little bit. And this one needs to move down a little bit. So it's going to hang over, which is fine. It's fine. All's good. Okay, there we go. Now this guy can put the dots in all over the place. So, um, get this on. That red's really pretty, that's why I wanted it, but I ran out, so it is what it is, which is fine. We all have that, those issues, right? Okay, then I have to do the back um, of his cap. Go to the smaller dots. Just gonna put two on here, it's fine. Okay. Got one there, and then one on the glitter. Okay, now I do have the holly for the back as well. So you just want to play with this until you get it in the right place. Now you don't have to do three dots on, on, on these, or um, they're kind of small. You could glue it if you want. These little guys are a little. Um, little challenging with the little cutouts and stuff so depending on what you want to do maybe you want to make this one 3d you could just pop in one of the dots here in the middle in the center and um, just attach the green one on top so it's got a little bit of volume but the rest I would just glue so I'm just gonna glue this is the back of the red berries and then this is the top of the red berries with the little cutouts. Just to give it so that 3D look. So once you get all that together, then I'm just gonna pop them on here. I'm gonna use a one of the medium sized dots that I have on the back here and then just attach it to the hat. Now, I gotta be a little careful because when I put the other one on, I wanna do the same thing. Um, so I'm just gonna stick it right there in the corner so I can see the, these guys are right there and then I can match them up. So that's his back, really cute. So now we'll work on his front. So we're gonna go back and do the same thing with these guys. Let's make sure we got them in the right order and then flip them over onto the side and then put the dots 
again. And the ones on the bottom. And then the top. And the neck. I forget the neck. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Take off all these little guys. All right. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and place him on again with the bottom because it was a little challenging to stand him up. These, they're a little flimsy, so I'm just going to get it on that way. That worked good. Okay. Let me get this stuff out of the way. All right. Continue on. neck, the top, and the side, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple on the sides here, just to make sure I got it all. I think it's good. Oh, I missed one there. Get another one there. Now, okay, and get that one. Get another one here. Whoops. Move it over a little bit. Got it. Got it. Missed one there. Get that one on there. I always forget which ones I've taken off, so there you go. Just always checking. Make sure that does come off for a pain after you get it on there and you realize, oh, I didn't take off the top, so the plastic. All right, I'll line him up again from the bottom. Should fall through to the top pretty easy. There we go. Pretty easy. Okay, and get all these guys out of the way. All right, now for the front, we've got, we're gonna put on the little buttons and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do one here. Actually, I think I'm not going to do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and work with it and see how it works out. All right. Okay, so I've got the buttons right here. So I'm gonna put those on first. Okay. So the buttons are gonna be a little challenging because they are tiny, but I think those will fit just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and do those. All right, all right, I ran out of the little round ones, so I'm gonna use the square ones. Go ahead and put them on so I know where I'm working on. Okay, so I'm just gonna position them. It's gotta have something to sit on. So I'm going to go ahead and use one of these guys, the big one that has all the cutouts, so I'll have something to put them on. And then just position them around. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the dots on this guy. Since it's the front and I'm going to be fitting the buttons, I'm just going to go ahead and put these on all the petals so I know that it's pretty secure all over the whole front.
Okay, here we go. All right, now just decide where you want to put it. Kind of offset these guys a little bit so they have somewhere to sit on. <clears throat> and make sure it's adhering everywhere. So I think that's good enough. Very cute. All right, then I guess we're good to go with the buttons now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a button. We got a scarf, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a button there, a button here, and a button down below. Okay, so let's see, that button doesn't have anything to sit on. I'm just gonna put some glue on him. Yeah, you learn to improvise, right? So there you go. Okay, we're going to make him 3D anyways with another one on top of him. So, he's going to look just fine. And then we'll do these two as well. Okay. And lastly, this guy. So our buttons are now on there. All right, now <clears throat> let's go ahead and do the arms so we don't, so they're in the background more, all right? So I, I only cut two of each, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do one on the back and one on the front, and I'm just going to go ahead and put the dots here and here. because those are going to go inside the snowman in the layers. Okay, so I'm going to stick them inside. I'm going to get it on that middle layer for the back and then put this guy, oh, see, I already did. This guy, I'm going to go ahead and put him on the front and make him line up with this guy here. You can see what I'm doing here. Line him up so that he's in the right place. Oh, I've got to move him up because he's got to be underneath here so you don't see the branch. So I need to move him up on the back, which will be fine because then he won't be seen on the back either. Okay, there we go. Okay. And then just, you can put a dot to attach him or not put a dot, it's up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and put a dot just so that he's more secure um, front to back. So there we go. All right, so then these guys, we're gonna do the same thing over here. You guys see all this firsthand too, so you can see that, um, you know, you've got to make adjustments so that things lay out perfectly and work perfectly. And um, you get to see firsthand that I'm not practicing this first. So when I do my designs, I do try to give a lot of thought to like where things go. Um, I will make adjustments after I've cut it and done all this, um, and then you'll the file that you get will be the correct, everything will be correct, um, tested and all that, so those are not coming off very well. Okay, one more here, and down, there we go, those little arms are cute. Okay, now... We got the hat, the scarf, the face. I'm then gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do his little face so I get an idea. Well, actually I'm gonna do the hat first so I know where to put the eyes. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the hat on. So, um, okay, since the the back of the hat's already on. I'm just gonna go ahead and dot the tops of this one so that they'll attach. And then 
I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this part to the front. Otherwise it'll pop out and it'll be too much of a pop out um, to attach. So I'm just gonna glue that part down. You got this to go next. So I'm just gonna flip it over, put the dots on, and that'll give your front a 3D, the 3D effect as well because there's more going on in the front anyway, so that's fine. Okay. All right, then I'm gonna do his, do the scarf. So I'm gonna 3D his scarf there. Make sure that it's gonna stick onto the snowman. There. Line it up with the back piece. So that should be good. So you have that 3D effect here. Now it's up to you whether you want the scarf to go behind the arms, in front of the arms, over the arms, however you want. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the arms in between so you have the same effect on the front and the back. And I'm just gonna attach two spots with the dots. Actually, I'm gonna put, attach one to the front up here, and then this one to the back, back there. So they're not just flying all around. Okay, that's pretty easy. And then this will go on top of that to give it the 3D. That's a different kind of colored glitter. Glitter stock. Just gives your snowman a little more interest if you add different textures. There we go, very cute. It's coming out pretty good so far. All right, now we have, let's see the holly leaves again. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach these guys. So there is a, a, a rhyme or reason to this. So you just wanna make sure you get them lined up in the right spot. Looks like I might have one backwards. Yep, there we go. That's there. Okay, now when we put it on here, we just wanna make sure that it kinda of lines up with the back one as well. So you just have to rotate it to see which one. So that's, that's that one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue on the berries like we did on the other one. On the other side. Okay, that glue will dry, and I'm going to put the dot on the back here. I'm using the medium one so it will adhere better. And just like we did on the back, it's going to be like right in the corner like we did so that it lines up with the back so it has that 3D effect. Oh, you know what? You know what? In the true sense of this being live, I forgot to put on the sashes first the brim of the cap. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Line that up. Just adding the dots here. Put that on. And then now I'll go back to attaching this guy. Get him lined up. There we go, in the corner there. My little berries are a little off. I'll fix them. There we go. Okay, all right, he's looking really cute. The little face. I'm just gonna go ahead and glue that. Little mouth on, give him a cricket little smile. Okay, and then the little eyeballs are also 3D. And I have the little stars going at the top. Whoops, so I'm just going to attach. Let's see if this will work. If it's got something to attach to, I think it'll be fine. There's one. And here's the other one. Okay, 
and then attach the 3D portion, which is this one on top of that one. And this one on top of that one. Okay, with those little eyeballs, very cute. And then get that underneath that guy. So I have to play with them a little bit. Okay, now the little um, nose is a little cone and you just have to work with the paper to get it to um, come to a point and bring it around and then we'll glue it down and we're going to stick them inside that hole right there so you have to kind of gauge till you get it in there and it works good once you're satisfied then you're just going to have to glue it down right here I'll put a dab of glue there and I'm gonna go ahead and glue, put glue around here, around the edges so that he'll, it'll adhere just perfectly. All right, he'll unwind a little bit. Now you can bend his nose down a little bit. You won't see the little hole when you get him standing up, but that's the idea of how his nose goes. Okay, it's having a little difficulty with this one eye work with them a little bit there we go all right all right lastly because he's not going to stand up on his own like this we're going to um, put him in a snow drift all right so the snow drift is basically the snow and then I put the blue on top now you can cut this out in reverse so that the white is on top of the blue however you decide you want to do it is fine. I'm going to go ahead and dot these so that they are 3D looking as well. I'm using different sizes. I'm putting the um, the big dots on the ends, at least one, so that it will have a good base, strong base to sit on. Okay. Line it up and put it on. There we go. There's one. Then the other side is for the back. So remember, we got to put this on the back, so that's got to go that way, so it'll sit on top of this, and everything will be in alignment. Okay. The little ones and then the medium size ones on the sides here. Okay. Put this on top. It's lined up. All right. Now your little snowman's going to sit inside. Okay, so now to get the snowman to sit up properly, you're gonna take the pieces that you cut. I cut them out of stronger cardstock, and I'm just gonna attach them on the inside. So um, I'm gonna attach them on the inside. What I've got is him on the in between the layers there. Okay, so that's one. And then the other one, do the same thing. Okay. Okay, so now he will stand up on his own. can see you gotta finesse with them a little bit. This guy fell off. I'm gonna go ahead and glue so that it's sticking to that other flower shape. So there we go. Okay and then I'm gonna add the snow to the front of him and just dot them on. 
This will give them a little more stability as well. And then turn them over and do the same for the other side. So I think I'll put the dot on here so I know where I'm going with it. Okay. So now you've got your 3D snowman ready to go. So you can attach these guys so you don't see the sides. Um, I think he stands better if you don't. But that's the 3D snowman. I hope you like them.